what is up YouTube? Oh, man, my belly's full because I tried to stuff two meals in today. Woke up a bit late and I tried to train a bit early and belly feels full, which honestly is kind of nice because it's normally fucking empty all the time. I've been going to bed hungry, waking up in the night hungry, but it's a good thing because getting shredded, slowly moving forward every day. And yeah, feeling good. So I've been in a good structure lately of like actually sleeping. We've been bed at like nine o'clock last night and I woke up at like eight, which is fucking absurd. I was up a lot during the night, but it's still a long time for me in bed. I should probably turn this down. But uh, yeah, it's chest day. So it's a good day. Calvin's back in town. We had a, they had a cool little outing with GBRS, which a bunch of content's gonna come out on our YouTube podcast and everything I was talking to you guys about already. So that's coming out soon, but we're back in action now. Axel is also coming to town this week, which I'm pumped about. If you guys remember Axel from 2020, one of the GOAT Olympias that I did, the COVID Olympia, my training partner, one of my best friends from back in Ottawa. So he's coming down to train with me for a bit and visit Florida. So he should be here Thursday, four days. So be seeing a bit of him. But until then, it's chest day. I've been using this multi-function, I can't remember what it's called, machine cable, but I'm switching it up to the good old Life Fitness Pec Deck right now. This is like the exact same thing. It's from Canada that was in Good Life growing up my whole life. So throwing that on there, I've maxed it out. So I'm gonna be busting out the gym pin. I just found it in my old gym bag. Luckily, I didn't even know I had it. So I'm gonna put like a 25 maybe on it. Start there, really warm up my pec, get a good contraction, and then move on to some pressing. So that's what we're starting with. The shit I do for you, the shitty music I listen to for you guys. You guys can listen to the fans. I know y'all complain about the fans. I have to listen to bullshit music. So we all losing. Still pretty light. I'll see if I can put another 25 on this gym pin without breaking the machine. that actually felt heavy. It's the first time in a long time a pec deck felt that heavy, so God bless the gym pin. So heavy. Damn, motherfucker. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> oh shit, that 25 weighed a lot less than I thought. Let's do a real drop set. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just tired. <clears throat> <clears throat> Enough of that. starting to feel that just like it's this transition where I'm just like full right now because I'm eating okay enough and I've been eating so much more sodium than I normally do but I feel like empty like physically 
trying to lift heavy weight right now. It takes me like, like before Calvin started filming, I was doing fucking band shit, rear delts, pull downs, fucking push ups, everything. Just like I did some stairs, just get my heart going because I'm so tired. My body, my heart rate drops down to like 55, 60, and it's just so hard to get it up to get my energy going. So fucking picking up weights right now, it's just like part of the battle is just waking myself up to get ready for a heavy set. Like each fucking 10 pound increment feels like it's getting 40 pounds heavier, but. I still got some strength in me, so this is the time where you gotta, gotta... This is where mentally you feel like you're sucked dry and you should be weaker. And everyone's like, I should be weaker, I'm depleted. So they start cutting back their weight, doing more volume, and that's when you start to lose size. And this is where mentally you have to battle through that bullshit and still actually lift heavy weights. So force yourself to get up to the heavier weights so you keep that muscle mass even throughout your prep. Too many people cut it down just because they feel tired. None of that bullshit here. You know the prime example? When I did the 110s, it literally felt heavier than doing the 140s. And if I let that get in my head, I'd be like, oh fuck, I'm weak today. I'm gonna do the 120s, make sure I get enough reps. But I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna keep going until I get the 140s. By then, sucked it up a little bit, quit being a little bitch. I think I got 10 reps there, so perfect. <clears throat> <clears throat> Break my foot there. Oh shit. Feels really good. It's a brand new machine. Literally, this is one of uh, the pure muscle and helped me build this gym and they're starting a line with a uh, metal fabricator and X machine fabricator. And this is one of their pure iron pieces. We got the swing squat, a new hip press, and then now this incline converging press. Like I told you, the reason I like this one and the problem with a lot of the new machines is they like press out or straight when the point of the pack is to come across the body, bring the elbow across the body. And it's actually like the pressing movement is like incline and in a little bit. So it actually feels really good. I know I just did incline, but incline is the goat. So I'm gonna try this new machine out. This thing is fucking heavy, but beauty thing is I completely forgot. They were telling me about this when they made it. This little lever right here makes it unilateral or bilateral. So if you have like a, a stronger shoulder, stronger pec than the other, a little lopsided, and it forces you to push on something like with a barbell, one side takes over. On this one, you can make it unilateral, just like a fucking dumbbell. And that way you actually have full control in each arm. So you're not favoring one over the other with the weight. So probably a lot weaker like that, but I'm gonna try it like that because symmetry, you know? <clears throat>
I really like that machine. One of the best inclines I've ever used. It forced you kind of up and in, and I really feel that squeeze in my like upper inner pec. Feels good. All right, gonna move on. Some flies start with flies, do flies in the middle, do lots of flies. But I'm gonna superset these machines because I love these machines. Why the fuck not? I don't know what weight I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna start with this one because this one's really hard to get into without a partner. You need to like wedge yourself in. And then this one, you can pop in easier. So I typically do 110 on here. So I'm gonna put it to like 90. And then I don't know what the fuck to do on this one. There's no numbers on the side of the machine, so I can never remember where I'm at. It's probably right there. <sighs> Oh shit. Oh. Okay, that was too heavy. First set was good. This one is too heavy, so I'm gonna drop it down a bit. I wanna be able to actually like contract on the super set of this on the second set here. Like focus on really squeezing my chest tight. That was so heavy I was really just getting the stretch part of the motion, so I'm gonna drop it, try that again. Fucking microphone. Ah. Decline. Did a lot of incline today. Did the incline is life. So I can do some decline. I usually either do dips, like body weight dips at the very end, or this specific decline machine, because most decline machines hurt my shoulder, but this one doesn't. So I'm doing a neutral grip just to kind of hit the pec from a different angle, keep my elbows locked in close to my body, slightly flared just from my lats, squeeze down, and it's probably gonna be the last pressing movement. Probably the last main chest movement, honestly. I'll do like a little stretch fly with dumbbells maybe, open up my chest and then probably call it a day, maybe do some abs. <clears throat> Oh, wow. 
think I only normally do three plates because that was fucking heavy. But still got like eight, so I'm gonna do a top set, drop set style set. <clears throat> Alright, this is the chest finisher today. The flies aren't meant to be like a perfect fly, obviously. I'm kind of like just trying to finish the rep. And there's no tension on a dumbbell at the top of a rep, so where you want the most squeeze, you lose it all on a dumbbell. But that's why I'm just doing them at the end, just to focus on the stretch. Just to try to like open my pecs up and get like a, a weighted contraction in a stretch. Just give me better posture. Stand up straight, the shoulders back. And yeah, and then I'm just gonna burn out with some push-ups at the end here, just to kind of really fatigue the chest and call it a day. So finishing up with this. Traeger game. I think last time I said this, I said I'm looking forward to Traegering, not in prep, and here we are deeper in prep, Traegering. So I still have to just ration myself of what I can eat. But it's still nice to enjoy good foods because my last meal is nothing but salmon or steak, so might as well have it taste delicious. So Calvin's back in action and fucking busting out the Traeger. We leave it in my backyard because, I don't know, I get to torture the smell of the smoke and not the benefit of eating as much as I want. So we're gonna down some steaks, made some T-bone, some fillets, and some salmon. And fuck it up. All right, good night. I don't know how to outro this video, but I got hit with the wall and I'm tired now. It's 9.23, seven minutes away from my bedtime. So with that being said, hasta la vista, bonne nuit, et à demain.